Hey guys, I'm Wench Fairy and welcome back to Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending Action. We are in on our smoke break actually in the middle of our first day of work, which is Tuesday, December 13th of 2070X. So let's come back from break here. It's now safe to keep playing. And we'll see what the rest of the night gives us. At least I didn't get locked up this time. All right, do I want to change the song layout at all for the second half? Let's see. Let's do base of the Titans. Oh, we can mouse over them to hear them. Oh, I like that one. We'll do Glitch City, Showtime. I'm not going to listen to all of them. City That Never Sleeps, I like. Digital Drive, we didn't put in last time. Dawn Approaches, Answer Lies Within. Mm. Those Who Dwell in Shadows, Nighttime Maneuvers, and All Systems Go. Okay then, we are back in action. It's a robot lady. Good evening. Good evening. Um, can you want to take your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Oh, she's cute. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, Miss Master Specialist Seipi Asagiri of the 765th Vision Valkyrie Corps at your service? What do you want me to... I can't call you all of that. Say, wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Excellent. What can I get for you, Say? I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink can be nice too, um, but not cool isn't great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, a sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, and not a lot of alcohol. Small, sweet, and icy. Let's go by flavor. Sweet drinks. Nope. Um, how about a sparkle star? Optional karma training. No ice. See, she gave me... This is where the game gets interesting, because she gave me... Um... These keywords, and I have to pick a drink. Aged and mixed, not quite. She wants something cold. On the rocks and blended. So the moon blast. Maybe the moon blast will do us. Aged and mixed, no. Let's do a moon blast then. We're gonna do six Adelhide. One, two, three, four, five, six. A powder delta, a flanner guide, two carmatrine. So it's on the rocks and blended. So you'll see the blending mechanic come in here. There, now it's blended. And a moon blast. Here you are. Exactly, a perfect drink because I'm the best. We don't get many white knights as clients. Remember from the beginning, the white knights are like the police. They enforce the government's rule of law. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking the Blixery Corps, the one with the huge plated suits. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who sue those suffering enemy attack. So they're the nice white knights. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. Oh, it rhymes. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff kind of stuff. Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know a lot of doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. I mean, that's kind of nice. The White Knights have kind of a bad rap, so it's it's nice that people are happy to see her. 
We must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. It's not really what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but... Never mind. Say is an adorable, precious cinnamon roll that needs to be protected at all costs. Wait, did I mishear you and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't, don't worry too much about it, sweetie. <laughs> you finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Ma'am, can you be a little bit more specific, please? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Type. I want a classy drink. A bad touch? Hmm. Brantini? No. Cobalt Velvet? She doesn't want a big drink either. Let's not give her that. She specifically didn't want to get drunk. Sour. I don't think she want. I should have been looking at the flavors. Is there a sweet classy drink? Bubbly classy burning. Let's make this sweet classy happy. I know it says talks about smug assholes, but let's do it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, three powder delta, and a karma train. Aged and mixed. I almost didn't age it. How about this? Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Ooh, Stella. She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And... I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Don't I have a name tag on? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill, hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian, Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. No, no, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. But why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. I still feel bad about angering you, though. That's nice of you for being feeling bad about making me angry. Because you look like a nice girl, and I don't like angry, nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. And she is. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine is so... Why does it still smell like dog pee? My mom used to be a veterinarian and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else you could possibly have been? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that. But ever since then, I felt like this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh, it's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Well, because she wanted to help people, Jill. Duh. Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. See? And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. That's a very valid reason for choosing something. Yeah, now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. 
There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Hmm, interesting. They're like, they're, they're like forensic accountants. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini. Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. Apparently, we don't call them martinis anymore. Do we not already give her one of these? She just had one of these. So Say is a white knight who likes to rescue people. Oh, I guess that's her job. Doesn't that she likes to rescue people? But she, I guess she went into it because she wants to rescue people. So she seems kind of sweet and kind of dumb, but I like her. Huh? You were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? <laughs> I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into uh, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but... No, no, no. Don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. It's fine. It's fine. It's like me in real life. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... That sounded like an explosion. What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yep. Go ahead. Be careful. And off she goes. She left her helmet behind. Yeah, we'll just tuck it under the counter. I'll go... Jillian says, I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's our sleeping lady. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla, am I dead? Yeah. Does that mean that Uncle Ingus is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar? True? Yep. Nope. Afterlife. Nope. Not dead. As far as I can tell, you are not dead. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? All right, then. Where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Lady, you're in a bar. I'm behind the counter. I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists, the whole lot of you. You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every whole... What? What? Holy crap, lady. Calm down. Give her something that'll calm her down. I give her that I'll calm her down. Thinking of Zen Star. It's sour and bland. How can it be sour and bland? Let's look at them all. Um. Fluffy dream. It's a soft drink. Maybe we'll give her a fluffy dream.
Hmm. Let's give her a fluffy dream. Three Adelhide, three Powder Delta, optional Karma Train. <laughs> Just a little bit of Karma Train. Aged, mixed, stop, fluffy dream. A drink, you're in a bar, bar serve drinks. Here you go, you're in a bar. Figured I would give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. Pumpkins? My stuttering makes me suspicious. You're accusing me of all these sorts of crimes and you're the nervous one? Is there anything better on the news? Let's put that on. If I ever add anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They showed themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Two flying cars crash. That's what that explosion was. Any damage? A hole in the street? I know about the drivers or anything. Either way, I think I'm done here. Can you check inside the toilet paper's locker? <laughs> I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. See? Negative. Nothing in it. First of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's name. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. Finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. You're implying something won't have value because I ignored it. You're saying my presence is so unimportant. Pete's like, lady, just get out. You suck. I hate you. What about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Yeah, I am. Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant that your work does matter. Um, I'm not sure you should drink it all that fast. I did put a lot of alcohol in that drink. So how was it? Hmm. It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Whatever. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably react the same way. I don't know that I would have reacted screaming murder, 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 murder a bunch of times, but I mean, okay, whatever. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. Guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping and you were asleep until that car crash outside. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How'd you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Were you sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. No problem. Tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you up on your offer of a piano man. You don't see women asking for Piano Man every day, apparently. I wonder why. Here were two Adelhides, three Bronson Extracts, five Powder Deltas, five Flanner Guys, and three Karma Trains. All on the rocks and mixed. Piano Man, here you go. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What do you do, your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that? Wrong place at the wrong time. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you? <laughs> no, it doesn't. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. 
Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure I like the fact that I'm falling into that. What's it, like a once? You've done it once? And you're only here because we found you unconscious in the street. I don't think that calls it, counts as falling into a habit. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? <laughs> hey, our boss was in here earlier, actually. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, so you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Sorry about that. I had to cough all of a sudden. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! Why are you working there, then? Dot, dot, dot. Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender? No, hard as being a cook. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. At one point I thought about being a bartender. And I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something like that. Here we go again. It depends on where you start working. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I guess. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What was wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected. But she has no qualms of showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Kim, heh. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brandtini. So, Brandtinis all the time, Brandtinis. Everybody wants a Brandtini. So we're learning little bits about the world here and there. This is still the first day, so I know the game seems a little weird right now, and it's mostly just me reading the text. But more happens, I promise. Bear with me. Starts a little slow. Mostly just world building. Yep, this seems like stuff. Cheers. She chokes on it. Um, are you alright? Yeah, just a bit dizzy. Oh, well, then you're clearing your throat. That helps me focus a bit. Yeah, I'm better now. Hey Jill, do you work with other women? I work for a woman, but my only co-worker is a dude. Why? Oh. You lucky bitch. I mean, you have no idea the heaven you live in. When I started my internship, every intern was female. Never tried competing with women for a good spot. They are relentless. You tried making friends with them, Kim? Like, for real? Oh goodness, they're not in it for friendship. They're out for blood. The other day I got an assignment and all I got for my efforts was an afternoon spent locked in the bathroom. And this other time, when our supervisor praised me, I'm still looking for my briefcase. Sometimes I just want to take all those bitches and throw them in the sewers or something. <laughs> Competitive workplace much? Let the lizardmen feast on their livers. I'm just so tired of having to deal with that. Tired of having to put up with them. Tired. Tired. Mm. No sleeping here, please. Do you want me to call you a cab? Hey, it's Jill. Can you send us a cab? The client? Just a second. Hey, Kim, I'm going to need your full name. Kimberly Lavalette. No, I have no idea how to spell it. No, she's too sleepy to answer that. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. And she's down. 
Bathroom's done. I'm leaving. Guide Miss Follette to her cab on your way out, please. She woke up and fell asleep again. Please help me walk you to your cab. Pickpockets. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil and where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. You feel like calling you. You feel like me calling you boss is too impersonal? Mm, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. So we got. We made zero mistakes, 30% commission, so we get $684. Plus, we made $650 in tips, a flawless service bonus, and extra for helping her calm down. So I did do the right thing drink wise. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. We've got lots. We're okay. Jill is lost and thought about, about, about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You may now browse Danger U. You may now visit J.C. Elst Elton's. Four. Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? Me. A ghost took my money. <laughs> so let's go into our phone. Oh, here's the Danger U. Dangerous Opinions. Miki Concert 2. This is like reddit so they went to a minky concert and let's talk about alice rabbit i haven't heard about alice in a while then now you think they're planning something there's this constant rumor of hair about a terrorist attack next week we're gonna be attacked and be funny to see those white knight fucks do nothing but drink how do you know if you get hacked by alice it's my first time reading about them she normally leaves a funny assy drawing and a message, something like happy not birthday. She literally started Rise of the Leaks, at least, at least try with your baits. And then this is the first Miki concert thread. See, they're talking, just having general conversation in amongst themselves about things. Local woman, local hero. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at Artemis Will Wall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as a presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Just when the suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch the midair and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Hmm. So, a mystery woman jumped off her thing, off her off a building to try and kill herself and then another mystery one caught her midair and fled hmm 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting I don't know I've ever had shrimp ramen I think Alan's right me Alan's rabbit might be a dog this Lana Smithy is a reference to um Alan Smithy that's what directors do when they don't want to put their name on films they call themselves Alan Smithy. Oh. What do the purple numbers mean? Just these ones in the middle? Those purple numbers, dot, dot, dot. Well, I have no way to translate binary in here. Let me look it up on my phone and I will be right back. Apparently it says the retribution is coming. In those purple letters. Huh. Um, we don't need to listen to the music, all that. So we can go shop with our $2,300. And we can buy all this stuff for our house. So the thing for today was that Jill is thinking about buying a hollow plant, and if she doesn't, she might be distracted. So we're gonna buy the hollow plant. And now the hollow plant 
Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased herself. She will surely focus at work. We need to have $800 in our account in three days. So we'll be fine. So this is our hollow plant. Right there. See? Hollow plant. But I'm actually going to leave this one here for now before we start day two. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. My name is Wench Fairy. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Valhalla, cyberpunk bartending action. And we will see you next time.